In this lecture, we are going to see about cloud deployment models. I have given Anna University previous year questions also. Service deployment models of cloud, it has four models, public, private, community and hybrid. First, we will see about public cloud. Cloud infrastructure and computing resources are made available to the general public over a public network. Owned by an organization, selling cloud services and serves a diverse pool of clients. Serve a huge number of users. Service provider offer resources, application, storage to the customers over the internet. It can be accessed by any user. Best option for starting small enterprises without large initial investment. By renting the services, customers are able to dynamically upsize or downsize their IT according to the demands of their business. Services are offered on a price per use basis. Promote standardization and preserve capital investment. Public clouds have geographically dispersed data center to share the load of users and better serve them according to their location. Provider is in control of the infrastructure. Fundamental characteristics of public cloud is multi-tenancy. Multi-tenancy allows multiple users to work in a software environment at the same time each with their own resources. Examples, we have Amazon EC2 which provides IAS, Salesforce.com and Google App Engine which provides PaaS. Advantages of public cloud offers unlimited scalability, lower cost, no maintenance, offers reliability, location independent. Disadvantage, no control over privacy or security, cannot be used for sensitive applications, lacks complete flexibility, no stringent protocol regarding data management. Next, we have private cloud. Services are used by single organization which are not exposed to the public. Services are always maintained on a private network and the hardware and software are dedicated only to single organization. Private cloud is physically located at organization premises or given to a third party. Based on this, it is divided into on-site private cloud or outsourced private cloud. It is managed either by cloud consumer organization or by third party. Used by government agencies, financial institution and mid-size to large-size organization. So we have the architecture of private cloud, both on-site and outsourced private cloud. Advantages of private cloud offers greater security and privacy. Organization has control over resources, highly reliable, saves money by virtualizing the resources. Disadvantage, it is expensive when compared to public cloud, require IT expertise to maintain resources. Community cloud, it serves a group of cloud consumers with shared concerns such as mission objectives, security, privacy and compliance policy. We have two types, on-site community cloud and outsourced community cloud. On-site community cloud, it comprises of number of participant organization. Consumer can access the local resources and also the resource of other participating organizations through the connection between the associated organization. Outsource community cloud, where the server side is outsourced to a hosting company. It builds its infrastructure off-premise and serves a set of organization that request and consume cloud services. Then we have the hybrid cloud built with both public and private cloud. Heterogeneous cloud resulting from a private and public cloud. Used for sensitive application and business critical operations like financial reporting. Here public clouds are used when other services are kept outside the organization network. High volume of data is involved and low security needs such as web-based email. Resources or services are temporarily released for the time required and then released. This practice is also known as cloud bursting. So we have the architecture of hybrid cloud, composition of two or more cloud. We have on-site private, on-site community, off-site private, off-site community or public. Oh, but all these clouds remain as distinct entities. They are bound together by standardized or proprietary technology that enables data and application portability. Advantage of hybrid cloud, scalable, better security, flexible, 
cost effectiveness control disadvantage infrastructure dependency we have the picture of public private and hybrid cloud here we have the public cloud which has microsoft azure aws ibm cloud google app engine and salesforce.com and from this we have formed a hybrid cloud combination of this public cloud and a private ibm or c2 cloud comparison of public and private first is technology leverage and ownership public cloud owned by service provider private owned by individual organization management of provision resources public cloud creating and managing vm instance within proprietary infrastructure promote standardization preserve capital investment application flexibility private clouds are client managed achieve customization and offer higher efficiency workload distribution method and loading policies public clouds handle workload without communication dependency distribute data on vm resources search workload is offloaded private clouds handle workload dynamically security and data privacy enforcement public clouds are publicly accessible through remote interface private clouds access is limited provide pre production testing and enforce data privacy and security policies example platform public cloud google app engine amazon aws microsoft azure private cloud ibm rc2